What's going on, everybody? Happy Sunday. Got back in uh, late last night from the uh, Newburgh, Indiana show, just as always I do. It's due to the drive and then the time difference coming back. Really good show. It did start off a little slow. Uh, I was starting to get worried, <laughs> not going to lie, but it really picked up at the end. Uh, somebody had a Jordan rookie I looked at. I'm pretty sure it was authentic by looking at it. There were just two things I couldn't tell, but I mean, if I'd have got a picture of it, I if they grade this as a one, it might be the biggest beat-up Michael Jordan PSA 1 out there. But, you know, it hit four out of the six areas, and due to, like, the scuffing and all the creases and stuff on it, it was kind of hard to pick the other two pieces out to really be for sure. I uh, saw some cards brought up to me. Uh, guys were looking if I knew much about them or comp-wise, and some really cool stuff coming up. Really like the show. i uh, trying to think here. A lot of people were looking for football out there. That was the big thing. A little bit into baseball if you had the right players. And a lot of people, Julio Rodriguez, probably the most named out of uh, baseball. Uh, basketball just didn't really seem a lot asking. Now, the guys that did have more basketball to my left, a lot of people asking Zion. Everybody has a lot of faith in Zion this year. I'm not too sure. And I had a nice talk with an individual. We talked about Zion, Morant, and Edwards. I think we both agreed on Zion and Morant's very, very risky, especially Zion, the most risk. Morant, I'm still worried with all the uh, leg injury he had. We'll see if that doesn't play a factor throughout his career or not. And something I didn't know, uh, I guess he follows Anthony Edwards real big. And he was talking about how Anthony Edwards just isn't like, full like gym mode train mode type deal but he likes him uh you know pretty much with what he's doing but i guess more like in his strengthening uh training and stuff like that and he was talking about his shoulder and it kind of made me wonder i'm like does anthony edwards have something you know crazy with his shoulder but time will tell time will tell a lot of these guys really study uh some of these nba guys that came around yesterday just some food for the thought all right, guys, so I'm going to go over a few things I picked up. I'm going to start with this here. Now, this here is the new CSG slab. I should say the label. I really liked it. I didn't realize this was CSG. I thought this was a forensic grading. I don't even know what it's called but because of the label look. But I really liked it, and the slab is really nice uh, overall. I got this not even because it's Phil Foden onto it or anything like that, and we got the World Cup, but mostly to show you guys it, it displays really well. I am not trying to preach go send all your stuff to CSG or anything, but I'm really thinking about giving him a, a second, you know, go around on this. He said, I want to say if you send over 50 cards, it's $18 per card. And I really, just by looking at the numbers, my thought the other day was CSG might be the strong number two coming out by the end of the year. SGC, I think, is still going to be really great for your vintage. But at $18 a card, I'd have to look at the whole schematic thing with CSG, but it's not bad. Now, I know they are going to be partnered with Fanatics, or they are partnered one of the two, but... I, I mean, it really displays well. Really impressed by it. So, I something I don't say a whole lot, but uh, kudos to uh, CSG. This is a really nice slab. I like what they did with the label. I don't really care if they put subgrades on or not, but it does display well. This is the back. Basically, their holographic sticker, QR code. But th it's holographic up here, too. I don't know if I can get it to show. There we go, right there which I didn't catch until I started playing around with it at home, but really displays nice. I know a couple of you told me about CSG displaying real nice, and until I got it and held it in my hand, it wasn't that ugly green label. I'm actually liking it. Really am. And it does fit in the PSA tight sleeve, so I might have to look into that. Uh, some of you guys saw on Discord and Instagram I posted this early. So pick these up. I'm just going to grade them one day eventually. Where are we at here? Come on. Focus. Ah, crazy camera. All right, so you got uh, Hank Aaron, Eddie Matthews, the big two pretty much onto this. I mean, I'm not expecting any kind of crazy grades on these, but they were just nice to have. Duke Schneider as well. 
This one here, I mean, no argument. I paid price the guy asked for it. I mean, I know it's OC, but I'm wondering if this thing has a shot at a six. It's really crisp. Nothing on wrong with the edges. A minimal whiting on the back. It's here in a corner, a little bit here. I might give it a shot because a six on this sells very, very well. My luck is probably going to come back like a three. So don't get me wrong on this. I mean, I've been doing horrible on vintage grading just because I haven't really done it in years now. And I've been off by like as much as almost two grades. I got to get that down next. So the last bit was a gentleman who came to my table. He had one of the yellow uh, like beast boxes. And I want to say probably about 300, maybe 400 cards I flipped through. Now he, he was a big 49ers guy, so I didn't touch he Trey Lance, oh my gosh. He had so much Trey Lance um, in there. And I was going to pick some up, but I just stayed away because I knew he was kind of like heavy on to it. But I picked up good lot, and I want to say, I don't even know what the percentage was. I did it on my phone when he named out the price because I explained it. If I had to get rid of this on eBay or through DC, I'd already be down 15%. So I need to have something with profit to move this. And phenomenal deal, phenomenal. So, two Najee Harris. We just threw these in there like a buck a piece. This is some whatnot stuff. Um, Unleashed Otani. Just look cool. I think it's like a $5 card. And Santa Marbles. I thought this would be more. And it was like 4 or 5 bucks. Alright, I gotta put down the whatnot stuff now. He had this. We couldn't find a price. We figured something out onto it. But 1 out of 5. Najee Harris from... Um, I almost said Upper Deck Black. Wow. Panini Black. I mean... Probably a nine offhand because you're gonna get the white onto it, but one out of five. I'm gonna grade it and just see what happens. I'm pretty sure it's a nine. I mean, my luck could be an eight too, but being out of five, you know, coming up on the football season might be pretty cool to have. Anthony Edwards Court Kings rookie. I mean, a lot of people have been asking for basketball, so this just stood out to me. I forget what I saw a PSA ten of this do, but it was really well, but rather like. 30 or 40 bucks. I think 30. Desmond Bain, Origins rookie. Another one with a PSA 10. Just huge profit if you hit it. I um, think these are around 30 bucks. Just because uh, good old bullpen Joey over there likes T Law, I figured I'd get one. I mean, I think these go for like 19, 20 bucks roughly onto it. So I would look to see what a PSA of them were graded. But pretty cool there. The other part of the stuff that I will not be grading, let me, okay, Ooh, hit the camera, I knew it was going to happen, I was trying to just move it slightly, there we go, pick these up, this is from Prism, they're the purple, I guess, power relics, Mills and Jones, like I said, a lot of people asking for this stuff, so I figured I'd grab a few pieces onto it. This here, I, I, we talked about, and I was like, Joe Theismann, I said, surprisingly, his stuff does not sell well compared to other older quarterbacks. I mean, it's a $30 card for Theismann Auto. I figured it'd be a little bit more, but from before having a few Theismanns, I was shocked. And I figured it was like $25, $30. Bucks. But, you know, with a deal, it was probably, you know, around $20-ish. I probably paid for it. So, pretty cool. This here was a hard one, too. To really comp out. Out of 50 from Black again. Herbert. A four color patch. Now. I could tell you. Everybody's looking. Because this is four color. When we were looking. I'm like. Oh, two color was like $49. Three colors were like 55 So I'm guessing four color. Around 60 maybe on to it. But pretty cool piece. Again a Herbert. We got football season coming up. Last one. Which I'm debating on. What I'm doing with it. But James. I mean, this guy could have a monstrous year eventually, maybe one day, <laughs> but it's numbered out of 20, yeah, 25. We had to really dig and try to find a fair value on to this. Um, uh, basically, with it, I gave more on what I think it was onto this, but I took less onto another one, so they kind of evened out type deal, but really cool. Um, just some stuff that I'll probably end up sending off for grading here. See how well it does. Just to restock fresh stuff in the display cases. Oh, let me point out two more things from the show. 
A lot of people found me because of hockey and soccer. More than I've ever seen before. And, I mean, it was just wow. People were asking, do you have any more hockey? Do you have any more soccer? And I'm like, no, my soccer is sitting in PSA. And what I did have is what's left is in the display case. People are really gearing up for the World Cup with soccer. Learned some great stuff from some people that are high into soccer, into collecting and stuff like that. So very good knowledge at the show. They'll give me some schooling, I guess you could say, it, into some soccer area. Nobody asked me about F1, thankfully. Uh, that was pretty much it. I just wanted to throw the soccer and hockey piece out. Looks like a lot of people are starting to look at those two now, which is good. But you don't see a whole lot at the shows. I don't think I've seen any other hockey, especially like autographs from stars, other than what I had there. Uh, I don't remember seeing much soccer when I walked around either. So I guess whenever it's limited supply in your area, people asking for it. Might have been one of the reasons towards the end why I was a little more crowded at my table at times too. No idea. But I just want to throw that out there just because it was something that was sticking in the back of my head. And it just came out, you know, now. Like, hey, make sure you tell people about this. But that was just one of the very odd things. I Occasionally I'll get like one or two people. But I probably had close to a dozen come by, which is a lot for our area on soccer and hockey. All right, guys. If you just came by uh, to the show and said hello and everything, appreciate it. As always, Louisville next weekend. We'll see what we can do there. Uh, should have a couple PSA orders that might be coming back here this week. Uh, for people that have sent out the July special, I have one in assembly already. And my first, e what do you call it, the value uh, 96 and forwards in QA1. So they're really pumping out stuff. I'm going to hit more on that with the numbers video on tomorrow, but just wanted to toss that out too. But all right, everybody. Take care. Appreciate you watching the video as always. See you next one.